Proverbs um, 14, verse 7, it says, leave the presence of a fool or you will not discern words of knowledge. And I think that is so key is like, listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's some people that you got to leave back in 2023 and not bring into 2024. And I'm telling you right now, we have got to start deciphering who in our life is just an acquaintance and who is somebody that is for us. You know, I, I think that's so important, Anthony, is like the older I've gotten, man, I have realized the people that will ride with me till the end and those that truly understand my heart and they want to be lined accordingly with mm -hmm. me. So, you know, the older I get, I've understood those that truly ride with me to the end and those that just want to use my time or use me for their own starting of a platform or their own starting of a opportunity. They're an opportunist, you know? And I think sometimes we have to understand that some people belong in certain areas of our life. Like these people, I keep them at work and they don't enter my personal life. These people I keep at school, they don't enter my personal life. They're just in the yeah. classroom and that's where I leave them. These people are on my sports team, but they don't enter my personal life. These people are at the gym, but they don't enter my personal life. And then you have that select, like, this is who I know is for me, circle. And I think sometimes that's where people will gain more wisdom is too many times people are, you know, I picture somebody in a field, man, and they're just standing in like this big field and it's like, this year, I'm going to go north, south, east, west, and hopefully one of the directions works out. They're just grasping at whatever sign comes across, whatever opportunity on the road comes across, and they hope it works out. Well, where's God's voice in that? It's nowhere. You're going off fleshly feelings, fleshly desires at that point, and you're not putting God in the center of how you're leaving a, th a thing or a season and entering into a new Correct. season. Yeah, that's good about just understanding who it is that is surrounding you and who it is that you've allowed into your life and then taking time to reevaluate. Yeah. Okay. If I'm going into this next season, season of new, you know, are these people, people that are supposed to come along with me and pastor Matt, I think that is very key because in our generation right now and just our culture, it's all about, you know, it's very much about being a part of something and feeling like you mm -hmm. belong with a certain group, yeah. um, you know, or, or around a certain type of people. And what we have to understand is when you're going through a period of transition from one season into the next, a lot of times you're walking that, lo that road alone. And there's a reason for that. Because it's when we're alone that God's voice is the loudest and he can truly speak to us to impart wisdom, understanding, and also uh, raise our level of discernment so we can take a step back yeah. and, and reevaluate things. And so I guess I want to say this, you know, not only is it about uh, being mindful of who it is that's coming with you or that you're uh, allowing to stay involved in your life in that next season, but really being mindful to allow yourself time to be alone in the presence mm -hmm. of God during this period of transition so that you can truly hear clearly about who it is that you're supposed to be involved with, but also where you're supposed to go. Uh -huh.